people, they didn't come to my home. Because you don't know how people is. People could be crazy. Okay? So they didn't come. put on my hair <laughs> did my makeup um i don't know where i'm going today but i do have a lot of filming and i'm gonna film some outfits which you probably already saw so this is me getting ready um so don't forget to watch that video if i don't put it up this week then it'll be next week but i'm planning on putting it up today and it's all about styling white pants so make sure that you look at that. Um, you remember the UPS, no, the FedEx guy. On my last vlog, I said, it said my package was delivered and no, it was not, right? So it is good people in the world. So he did send it to the wrong place. He put my package at the wrong place like he ain't even it was nowhere near it was in the same complex because i'm in where townhouses are he just put it at the wrong door completely at the wrong door and what's so good about it is they took it to our um rental office and turned it in so i was so grateful so grateful so there is good people in the world they didn't open their netting they just sent it to the rental office and the rental office called me and said look me up and the address was right on the box so you know i don't blame some people they didn't come to my home because you don't know how people is people could be crazy okay so they didn't come to my home but 
they tend to send it to the rental office. So let's open it up before we get this vlog started. Well, actually, vlog probably already started. So when I left off, I was going, I think I was going out to lunch. So the footage should have been in the beginning. So I went out to lunch to a sushi place. So you should have seen that in the beginning. And um, today, which is Saturday, March 5th, I believe. So, you know, I, if you're new here, hello, welcome. Um, I do vlogs on Sunday and then any Saturday. I ain't saying which Saturday. I'm not saying once a month or two weeks, whenever I feel like it. My styling videos are on Saturday. And I have a review channel where I review movies and television shows in a very, very ghetto fashion. And it's fabulous. And it is called Review Queen. So check me out on my uh, with my other, um, if you're not into the vlogs. And I only give you a few minutes out of my day, honey. That's it. That's why my vlogs are not long. Um, if I go on a trip, if I go somewhere, if I do something, I try to show you. But most of the time, it's just me. Just me and you. So let's open this package because I have another package as well. So let's go ahead and open this because I have to get this video up. So I got... If you watch any of my any of my channel content, let's put it that way. If you watch any of my channel content, you know that I am a Converse lover. Here's the receipt. I am a Converse lover. Here is the box. What did I get? Well, now that I'm going back to work, and I was supposed to do work outfits showing you work outfits that i've done or something and talk to you when i'm getting ready but hunte okay it was a hectic first week back all right i gotta get back in my groove that's gonna have to wait ah! <laughs> i know some of you are like what okay what these are my new Converse. They got the black leather, and I just love the gold shoe strings. And I think this is a collaboration. And look at this, guys. This is Sherling. Look at that. So the tongue is Sherling. I bought these to wear to work when I want to dress down and still look fabulous but I wanted a black tennis shoe but I just couldn't get just all black because I got to be extra and it's cold in office buildings so I didn't mind this Sherling tongue just because it's about to be summertime it's cold everywhere you go in the summer when you go in a building now if you're walking around outside then you wouldn't wear this but I will so, but I'm gonna put it here where the tennis shoes are and I cannot wait to wear these. I cannot wait. So that is the first unboxing. Now the second one I have is I went to Dillard's. And you know I like getting stuff that's on sale that is not always in the same season. So. Bum, bum. Got me some Uggs. Let me show you my Uggs that I wear all the time that you would not think I wore all the time. I hate to even show them to you because they're so filthy. These Uggs right here that my son got me for Mother's Day. I have wore these. They are the most comfortable shoes. And every time I go walking or go somewhere, they're filthy. They need to be washed. Every time I go somewhere or I go walking, I love to put those on. Um, I did yesterday, I did a four mile walk yesterday. 
went to a few places, went to the thrift store, went to Publix, stuff like that. And I, I'm doing a fit exercise competition with a friend at work. So what you do is if they if you both got the iPhone, um, you can sync it no matter where they're at. Um, I can sync it and we'll be in competition and see who does in seven days who does the most exercise. And it's not and it's even though I'm very competitive, <laughs> it's not even the fact of um, being competitive. It's the fact of you each holding each other accountable so that helps you if you don't have people that's exercising where you are or to that y'all can do it together and it, so the competition is going good and it's forcing me okay it's forcing me to at least work out every day so and you could do it with anyone that has an apple watch so if you're interested leave your apple your information down below and i think it's by um if you do the activity and the app the apple watch app for the activity and you can do it especially if that person is in your contacts okay so i got a pair of Uggs. they were on sale so i got a few things from dillard's so i'm gonna go over that it, if they're on, they were on sale, 50% off. <laughs> I told you I'm crazy. First of all, it's got my favorite color, the purple. And I know this is probably not everybody's cup of tea, but I absolutely love it. And you would think, okay, you live in Florida. It's hot. I'm telling you. First of all, your feet are out so your feet can breathe. But when you're going in places that is cold, like I love wearing these when I'm going to the movie theater. Why? Because it keeps your feet warm and uh, when you go out, you're still stylish and it's so thick and comfortable. So it's got the UGG emblem there and you see how it's a platform, so it's perfect. And it's got the little Ugg strap. And I just love the peach and purple. To me, this is like, I can't wait to wear it. I'm so glad I've unboxed it. Because it's been sitting in my room waiting for me to do the video. Um, so I'll be trying to have unboxings for you. Because I love unboxings. I love it when people unbox. So I want to have one at least every video. I don't care if I'm unboxing a pair of earrings. It's something. So I be keeping stuff in my little pal uh, when I get stuff and I save it to open it with you. Or let, my, let me know if you like these. I don't care if you don't like it. I said let me know if you like it. And you see, will see me styling them now that I um, wore them. I wanted to wear them to the movies yesterday. I went to see Batman. The new Batman that's out. So you will see me that will be on my review channel. So what else did I get from Dillard's? Well, I also got, cause I've really been into rings lately. So I got this beautiful, isn't it just so pretty? It's like a, 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 a garnet. Um, so I got that and from Anna and Anna. Well, I wonder if it's Anna and Ara. Anna and Ava, I think that's I think that's a B. Anna and Ava. Look at these. Are these not nice? Springtime coming. And they look like flowers, but with the um the pretty yellow and brown color. Y'all know I am a sucker for earrings. A sucker. I got these yesterday from a consignment store. I just love the burst of uh, pearls on it. And it was just $4. And I got these as well from the consignment store yesterday when I walked. I thought they were so different and odd. They're handmade and it's signed. And it was in 1993 that they made these. 
handmade. You can tell all of this is just handmade. And you will, this is what I'm talking about. When you find stuff that is odd and different that you don't have to worry about if someone else will be wearing it. I cannot wait to wear these. This is a statement piece. <laughs> Look at the colors. I am so ready for spring. Uh, when I bust out the spring stuff, honey, and I got this. I thought this was a nice gold chain, um, and it's heavy. And I got this from the consignment store, too. And I thought this would be so nice. Look at how heavy it is. It is definitely nice. And... <clears throat> I think, I don't know, I think it's an eagle. Probably means something, but for me it's gonna mean fashion. That's what it means to me. And I can't wait to wear it. It is so nice and heavy and I think it looks so cute. So those are my unboxings for you and some of the stuff I wanted to show you. So the next thing is, I think we're gonna go and make a smoothie. It's my first time making a smoothie. I'm very scared to do it. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna do it together. So let's go. Okay, so I got all the ingredients that we, so we can make our smoothie. So let me go over everything. So I got the dough. I got the five pound bag. It has mixed berries and oats. So it's got blueberries, strawberry, oatmeal, and bananas. Um, so they look like this. So they come individual, which I like. I did want something that I had to be scooping out. So it comes in individual packs. And it tells you on the back what you need to how to make your smoothie. So it says an eight ounce bag of mixed bird oatmeal, which I got. One and a half to two cups of almond or whatever type of milk you're gonna use. And it says you don't need ice cubes, so great. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am also going to add my protein so you remember my protein I'm going to add a scoop of that the milk I'm going to use is the California Farms oat milk that's the milk that I like I'm going to put some of this peach yogurt in it it's, ke it's keto friendly so it's very good yogurt and then I'm going to top it off with my whipped cream. And this is sugar-free oh, Lando Lakes uh, whipped cream. So here is the container. So here we go. back upstairs and I made my smoothie um, and it is so delicious now I don't know what this 
this is my first time making it, so I don't know how this protein is going to be. So I'm a little worried about that. So we are going to have to see because I, some stuff upsets my stomach very, very quickly. Anyway, I got an Amazon package while wow. um, when I came back uh, upstairs, I got an Amazon notification. So let me tell you what I decided I'm going to do. And you're going to see me do this next week. Um, I have so many pieces of jewelry that I have got to start displaying it where I can see it. Because you know how you will have something and if you don't see it out of sight, out of mind, and you be like, hey, I bought that and I don't even remember wearing it, right? It's because you gotta start seeing it. So I wanted to display just a few of my jewelry pieces. Um, and I wanted to display it but I didn't want a jewelry case or anything like that where I can just put some of the necklaces up and um, maybe some of the earrings, especially ones I don't wear a lot. So I got this cork board. See, they come in four like this and I didn't want anything too big. I didn't want that. So this is the size of them. And I just wanted some cute little boards and put the little things on it and put the jewelry and just have it. Uh, I haven't figured out where I'm going to put it yet, but once I decide, you're going to see it and I'm going to show you what I do with it. Um, because I just really need to display my stuff because I am so tired of buying stuff and then I put it away because this place really is not big enough for me. You know what I mean? It is just not big enough to hold all the mess I got. So it comes with, oh, let's see what it comes with. So it all, look, some of them come with little um, clothespin tacks. So it's a tack, but it's clothespins. That is so cute. So they have to be screwed in. So I'm going to get my son to do that and screw them in for me. And then I will show you, I will film once he screws it in. Are you looking at the show called um, uh, from, from? It's called From. And um, I'm going to put a actual, I'm going to put uh, my review on it. Um, I'm gonna have that up next week, but it is an Amazon, uh, it's on Amazon, but it is a, uh, epics. I think that's the name of it. Epics original. Oh, I just love the show. It is, it is scary without being like scary. It's, it's, I don't, you're gonna have to watch the review or go ahead and watch the show. Cause I don't want to give it away. But it looks very, very interesting. I cannot wait. Because I'm already on episode four. It's airing every Friday. But they gave you three episodes in the beginning. And then every, no, every Sunday is a new one. So if you go now, and so you should be seeing this if, depending on when you see it. I'm uploading it Saturday evening. So... I'm uploading it this evening. I'm not like I'm talking about another Saturday. I'm going to upload this for Sunday. So you will be seeing this Sunday when the new episode come out. But go and watch the other episodes. It is so interesting. I just love it. And I hope it don't be disappointing. But it is worth going to see. I just went and seen Batman. So I put up my 15 minute review of that. Um... You, it is so much better than I thought it was going to be. So it is definitely worth worth going to watch. It is a long movie. So it's not, if you tired, intoxicated, don't feel good, don't feel like sitting, don't go see it. It is a long movie, but it's worth it. It was very good. And I do my little 15 minute review of that. This one I didn't go all into detail with because everybody knows about Batman. It's not something that is new to anybody. But I 
uh, am putting up my 15 minute review and that will be up when you're seeing this as well. So go and check it out. Let me see. Besides the, um, the going over those two shows that I'm watching, let me know what you're watching. Um, so I wanted to ask a question. So, you know, I always end it with me talking about something, um, that I'm either passionate about or something that help us ladies. Let me get up on my bed that is so junky with everything I just did. The, the reviews I just did, the outfits I just wore, child. So don't forget to go see me on, check me out on Instagram. Um, I do TikTok, uh, age is how you wear it across the board if you're new here. And I write a blog as well where every uh, every couple of days or every, I might do it five days in a row where I tell you my thoughts. Any old thing can come out this head. Um, but what if, what is my topic today? Well, excuse me guys, that day gone, um, uh, protein shake keep making me burp and I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be doing but anyway oh and speaking of food I'm about to be all over the place speaking of food I remember um if you watch my first vlog I think it was my first one um because you know I talk about the food that I eat because of the journey that I'm on eat trying to eat healthier and the fact that I I only eat sides so um them noodles from whole goods from whole foods i'm sorry the noodles from whole foods i did not like them once i heated them up they was they tasted funny i didn't like it at all someone else may like it i did not like it um especially if you've ever eaten a good oodle noodle honey when you put in there you put your little everything you want to put in it and it'd be delicious no no, I can tell that it was not real noodles. Um, and it did not appeal to me. Uh, just like I don't like a lot of soy. I don't eat that stuff anyway. Um, or a lot of vegan processed meat. I don't eat it. It's still processed. Okay, so I still don't eat that. So, uh, you know I'm on a journey where I'm eating a lot of sides. Um, now, did I mess up this weekend? Yes, because I had me some chips, honey, because my nerves is bad, so I had me some chips. Uh, so, I, but I've been exercising, and I'm doing good. You remember I told you I'm doing the competition. So, um, I will work it off, but it just makes it harder. So, I'm going to try. That's, the, that's my, sack, my snack for the month of March. I ate it yesterday. The month of March is gone. Cannot get another snack. That is my only snack. So that's the way I do myself. I get I make I, I get me one snack. I'm gonna do one snack a month. That way you not taking everything you love away, but you're limiting yourself. And so one snack a day, a one snack out of the month is will suit me just fine. Um, okay, so what else? Let's talk about our topic. I, whenever I come up with these topics, it's always, I'm either in the shower or in the middle of the night or I had a dream about it. And it's always weird, but it always comes to me. I love you. Let's talk about that. What does that mean to you in the space you're in right now? I love you means those three words can have devastating consequences behind them. It's three of the strongest words that someone can say to you, depending on how they say it. Okay, so let's talk about it. So when you're younger, and I'm not talking about I love you family members, your kids, I'm talking relationship. I love you. Okay, so let's talk about it when you're a teenager and you're young. That first boy tell you he love you. I love you. You know, um, give you the attention. And the attention is very mute. It's not something um, drastic. They, they waved at you. They smiled at you. They say hello to you that day. And you find yourself attracted. All of it is chemical. 
okay? That's your hormones talking, but you think you're in love, okay? So they say those words to you, and now it's it, it, it it's put the stamp of approval on it, right? So when you're young, that's what it means. Now let's talk about it when you're a young adult. And now I'm not talking about, as usual, I'm not talking about damaged people where love means nothing, okay? When you've been damaged, when you've been abused as a kid, when you, anything that, where someone who was supposed to love you or supposed to be that person, that father, that mother, that, that guardian, and the only love they ever showed is physical pain. That is not the same. I'm speaking of love without damage. So you go through your teenage years in that first love, right? That's probably when you lost your virginity and you found out, wait, once it was over. Or it could have been even stronger to where it went beyond that and you building a relationship with this person that y'all supposed to love each other, but you're teenagers. And you remember I told you about them shoes, right? So now you come in and you... I love you. So let's talk about when you're an adult and you've heard I love you from several men. I'm just speaking of my of my women right now. Remember I told you I'm going to do a series on men, but I'm speaking to my women right now. How many times have you heard that I love you? And then when they get what they want, there's no action behind those three words. After a while, someone saying those words to you mean nothing. Even if they mean it, it means nothing to you. Because love without action is nothing. You say you love me. So are you saying, so I'm not saying love means you have to do certain things. Like buying me things don't mean you love me. It just means you spend, you don't mind spending money on me. It does not mean you love me. Now, some men, that is the way they show love. They like to treat you. They like to do for you. That is an action. Okay? So it is an action with it. A good action. Toxic relationships. Fighting. <sighs> Chaos. All of that, I told you. That is, that is not love. That is a physical attraction to pain. That is what that toxic relationship is. So if you get involved with somebody and that is the type of relationship and that's how you show each other love, that is you have a love for pain. Being hurt, to being the one hurting, all of it. So your love, that those words, I love you. So that's why I say in the space you're in right now, what does that mean? So let's take me for instance. I can only speak for myself. I've had those words and I've had the action behind it. Do I need it now in the space I am in? No, I don't. What I need or want is friendship, companionship. I want someone to travel with. I want someone to have fun with. I... I do not need to love you. As long as you're a good person and as long as I can have fun with you, you make me laugh. We don't I don't have to fall in love and have that so many people chasing that true love. Really? What is that? Are you chasing a what you think it is. You know how some people say, no, I don't like tall men. No, I only like this. No, he has to have this. You have all these criteria and you think you're going to love that person because they meet your criteria. That's not always true either. So what is love? Someone saying, I love you really means they love you. How many times have you told your children you love them versus what you, when you, last time you told your spouse? Not on anniversary, not on birthday, not on Valentine's Day. Throughout the year. Do you do it with actions or do you do it only with words? A card on his birthday. 
something for Christmas. I love you. Anniversary. I love you. Valentine's Day. I love you. Do their actions match the words they are saying to you? They have to go hand in hand. They have to. It's different things you could do. You don't have to spend money to show love. I'm not talking about that. You do not have to spend money to show love. I've had a hard day at work and maybe you had a, a better day at work and you come home before me, you cook. You you run my bath water and put out my favorite raggly uh, bathrobe that I just love so much. And you put that out and you say, relax, here's a glass of wine, go take you an unwind and you sit next to them to me in the tub or outside the tub and you just say let it out tell me how your day was love actions what some people say he loved that game more than he loved me no it's the attention that he's willing to give to something versus you that's what it is it has nothing to do with love. Just like sex has nothing to do with love. You can have the greatest sex in the world with somebody and don't love that person. You respect them, but you just... <laughs> Y'all got that chemistry thing. But outside of that, you're trying to figure out why couldn't we make it in a relationship? Why couldn't we build something? Start putting sex with love. Sex is a hormonal thing. And for years we thought, oh, men are dogs. Why? Because I choose to be single. And now I'm not talking about those who cheat and all that. I'm talking about a single man who just simply haven't found who he wanted to settle down with. But he's having relationships. He's never treated anybody bad. Nobody can say anything bad about him. He just doesn't want to settle down. And he makes it very plain and clear. I'd rather have it like that. So at my time in my life right now, I do not need to fall in love. I've had it. I know what it feels like. If it happens, it happens. But do I really need it? And is it something I'm looking for? Is it something I want? I'd rather have peace of mind than love from another person because I love myself. I love my grandchildren. I love my children. I get love in return. So, it's not always that you're out there looking for it. Now, if you love them and you having good sex, <laughs> that's everything, right? That is <laughs> the total package. But you can have one without the other. You can. I, I, I. I, I don't understand and if you are this type of person let me know really truly I want to understand why is it that you fall in love with every person that you be with how is that possible to love everyone you've been with some people are there for seasons that is it some people can just be your friend that thing about oh man can't be your friend yes they can I have male friends. I have no interest in sleeping with them. But I go out with them. I have fun with them. Now, when I go on a real date, y'all will know. But I've been out with guys. They my friends. Nothing more. Separated. So I just want to know, how do everybody else feel about I love you? Outside of your family. When it comes to a relationship, how many times have you heard those words follow before or after with pain of some kind? How does that all mix together? After a while, I love you would mean nothing to you at all. And then you get used to being treated without love and respect. You get used to that and think that is normal. It is not. So I was just wondering, that was my talk of the day. I'm not going to talk you to death. I just want to know during your time right now, what does I love you mean? Um, so that's it, guys. 
I will see you on the next vlog. And hopefully I had some, I go somewhere or do something. But you will see me do that board and put up um, my jewelry. And I'll show you the ones that I want to display. And as always, guys, please, my butterflies, know your worth. Know your beauty inside and out. Bye.